Hello everyone. My username is Angry Poncho, and you're watching my video. We're playing Oblivion, the Elder Scrolls 4, and in this episode, we are going to continue to progress through the Fighters Guild by traveling back to Anvil and getting the next of the series of quests from Azan. And uh yeah. That's what we're doing. I'm a little bit excited because I do believe I'm going to have enough time this evening to record the rest of this entire guild line. Which excites me because it means that I'll effectively have finished what, what in my head is another LP. Because <laughs> Oblivion is such a long game, I'm thinking of each guild as its own kind of LP within itself. With its own style, its own jokes, etc. etc. The main quest will be the culmination of all of which should be fun. Anyway, let's bugger on inside and see if we can't find a Zahn. I'm talking over the loading screens, but I don't even care. It is a Saturday night, and rather than out partying like most college students are, I'm saving my brain cells, and I'm staying inside playing video. There's one last contract. Just one? Oh, that's great. I've only got one more thing on my plate for you, but it's an important one. The Stone of St. Alessia has been stolen from Bruma Chapel. That sucks. What do you want me to do about it? I don't know if you're religious, but a lot of folks are, and the stone is important. Talk to Sirak and Bruma. He'll fill you in on the details. All right, I'll report. I'll report to oh, him. Sirach. Hey, Rano. Oh, I was gonna get blade training from him. I just realized that I can't get blade training from him anymore. I have to go to the guy at the. Is it the Fargol Inn? Is that where he is? Well, let's see. It's actually sort of on the way to Bruma. Not really, but is it? Yeah, it's Faragol. I'm gonna go swing past this inn and pick up some more blade training, and then we will go to Bruma. I'm not gonna show this part. Well. Your blade skill has increased. You should rest and meditate on what you've learned. Wow, I guess I will show this. Wake up, Abuhugi. I wanna buy a bed it's from you. A bed. Yes, I'll take it. It's only ten gold. That's Good a really day. cheap, really cheap, cheap bed. Uh, did we get a key for that, or did we just... Was one of the doors unlocked? I'm not actually sure. Wait, was it that one? I suppose it was the first door since the other two are locked. Don't care. What is this going to make us? Level 25 now? Something around there. Yes, 25. Endurance and strength and... Uh... Well, you know what? <laughs> I suppose we'll just go with speed, huh? I guess we'll go with wind power. You're better off. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Onward to Bruma! And so here we are inside the Chapel of Talos in Bruma Tropera. Greetings, my friend. You must be from the Fighters Guild. We appreciate your help. That is the best French folkism I've ever seen. Uh, yes, I'm here about the Stone of Saint Alicia. It's said the stone was blessed by Alessia herself. And while it remains in our possession, no harm may come to our church. The relic was stolen from us not long ago. A group of men was seen leaving the chapel the night the stone was stolen. We believe they were bandits. Ah, bandits, you say? From all accounts, there were four or five of them. And they've been seen heading east on the road. Please, find the stone of St. Alessia. Okay, Red Guard, who has the same voice as Azan. I'll do what you ask, because you have the same voice as my authority figure. And I feel impelled. Impelled? That should be a word. Compelled to do what it is my authority figures say to do. I love jumping and then leaving, and eg like exiting an area while you're still in the air. The way that your momentum isn't retained. Portal may kept your momentum going. That's a fun game. Oh, Portal 2 is coming out recently. Is coming out recently. That's an interesting mixture of past and future tense. Is going to come out soon, essentially, is what that would mean. Uh, I've seen a couple cheap teaser trailer kind of things on YouTube, and I have one question. Does is the game have to be co-op? Can you can you play through it single player, or is the whole game... Like, if you play single player, is one of the robots controlled by an AI unit, or do you really just have to have two people to play it? Because all the ads I've been seeing is... Uh, you got... Oh, what are the names of those two robots? Shoot. Oh, I should remember this. One of them had a hyphen. A letter and a hyphen. Like, like C-patch or something, or... Uh, like patch and sea iron or something like that. I'm probably dangerously not close. 
I hate my life. You are the one of the most emo Khajiit I've ever met. So I assume you're the one who's been sent to track us down. Damn stone was more trouble than it was worth. Sounds like a kidney stone. What the hell are you talking about? We stole it. I won't try to hide that now. I'm all that's left now, though. We may have stolen the stone, but we weren't the last ones to do it. Right. The lot of us got jumped by a bunch of ogres. More ogres. Partial to pretty gems, it seems. I'm the only one that survived. If you want the stone, head to Cedar. Oh, joy. Cedar? Is that in the Laid Ruin? It's not far from here. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Now just leave me. Heard any good rumors lately? Blackwood isn't so bad. And once you get used to the flies... Alright, alright. That's all I need to hear from you. Dude, quit being such a bummer. He's having a bummer. It's way over there. Oh my. Have we been there before? I have been there before. How does that work? Did, was, did talking to him get me the fast travel marker? So I don't... I don't feel like we would have just bumped into Cedor, wandering through the North Gerals. I don't think so. Okay, yeah, it's a laid ruin dealio, huh? Inside we go. Um, let me take a look at my gear first. You guys were telling me I needed to repair some stuff, so let me... Ha! <laughs> yeah, um... Okay, should have looked at this before we left the towns, but I do have some repair hammers, so... I'll do what I can for the parts that I actually am able to repair. And my armor skill increased. That's cool. Yeah. So I suppose I can fix the parts that are kind of minor, but I can't do any of the... Oh, wow, it's only a 10? No wonder that thing isn't doing any damage. Holy crap. Oh, man. I'm going to go get this stuff fixed for real. I'll just use the one of the guy in the market district, and then we'll... Well, you know, I guess I could use somebody in the fighter's guild and probably get a discount. I don't care. I'm just going to go here, and then I'll come back, and I'll meet you back when I get everything fixed. I suppose while we're making our grocery run here, I can tell you guys a few things about the main quest playlist that's going to be coming out after this one. I have decided it's definitely going to be a new character. As much as I would like to beat the main quest and have all the guilds finished on this one character, I'm realizing now that the, the unplanned way that I've been leveling this character has resulted in some unpleasant imbalances in the way that he's designed. So he doesn't he's not really very useful. He's not very good for higher level fighting. We would just get our asses kicked if we tried to go through the main quest at a high level with this guy. And there's a couple skills that I didn't pick as major skills that I would like to pick if I'm gonna have a power leveled character, which I've decided I'm gonna do for the main quest. So we're gonna play through the whole game at probably level forty nine or fifty with all our skills at hundred. Welcome to a fighting champ. Hello, Rosan. I like Rosan. She's someone that we'll be spending Can't more time with every. With broken wow, it costs that much to get this thing fixed? Are you serious? Wait a minute. What's my armorer skill? Maybe a cheaper way to do this. No, no, that's not your skill menu. That's your inventory. Good try, though. Thirty-two. Yeah, that's not even close to take journeyman care. level. I hope. Well, shoot. Are you serious? It's gonna take that much to anything. get these things fixed. I gotta choose which one I want. Alright, uh, no. Fix gold brand for me, would ya? Thank you. That was expensive as hell. Jeez. You wanna fix my pants? I appreciate that. I can't... I don't have enough gold to repair it all the way. Wish I could just give her what I have and tell her to fix it as much as she can. Wait a minute, maybe I have something I can sell to get some of that gold Good. back. Perhaps you Let's need see new here. Armor. A weapon. What have I got? I have a large selection of what have we got? What have we got? There's some arrows That's and junk I don't need. A fine uh, transaction. I don't want to sell that. Oh, uh, here we go. Well, you know what? I could just... <laughs> I could just wear the other curious. No, we'll sell this that one. Seems a fair it's worth price. so much, apparently. Sell that, too. Oh, this actually is working out okay. Greater soul That's gem. A fair deal. Yeah, oh, look, I have jewelry. <laughs> I actually shouldn't be bothering to carry these anyway. Oh, this may work out. I might actually and end up with enough to purchase what I want to purchase here. Thank so do you. I have enough for her to repair it? For the right price. Oh, I'm like 200 short. Oh, okay, what's going to sell? I have it all. How many have I got here? Maybe, um... Ah, shoot. A grand soul gem with no soul in it. That isn't worth very much at all. Wow. 
Oh, well, crap. Dagger of Storms. Eh, sure. We'll sell um, it. I need you to fix to my shirt. Thank you. Equipment. Hell do the bow, too. Don't care. Awesome. Good stuff. Back to Cedor. Holy crap. I just realized that I should have got more blade training from Alex Lancola before I left the, the inn. Because when I went upstairs and leveled up, I could have gone back down and got five more levels of blade. Well, damn, that was dumb. I'll make sure I pick that up before we level up again. Alright, into Cedor we go. I was born under the sign of the serpent. Can poison others at a loss of their own fatigue. It's an interesting spell. Alright. Someone told me... Oh, that immediately made that song pop in my head. It's like, Somebody told me you got a girlfriend that looked like a boyfriend that I had in high school. Or however that song goes. Does anybody know the name or the band for that song? I don't. Oh, I... Gold-trimmed water walking. Uh, okay, cool. Ah, that's good loot. Wow. <laughs> 2,000 gold. A pair of shoes that allow you to walk on water. I'm gonna probably gonna hang on to those, and I could use those. Because I don't think having the Boots of Spring Hill Jack that allow us to... that boost our acrobatics, even if a Boots is boosted above 100, we still can't do that water jumping thing that a master of acrobatics can do. Alright, so we're on the lookout for Ogres and the Stone of St. Alessia. That's what we're trying to find. Particularly the stone part. Okay, there are the ogres. I don't know how high their sneak skill is. Probably not very. It's nice and dark in here, too. Well, let's just go to it. Hello! There's not enough charge. Well, it would have been nice to charge that before we started doing all this. Sneak attack for six times damage! Yeah! Gold brand, thank you. Come here, you. Yeah, having gold brand charge definitely makes this easier. Now it's almost a fair fight if I don't get staggered relentlessly. Of course, having high agility will make you harder to stagger, which I suppose could give you a slight advantage in these fights, or at least more resistance to them. Here you. How do you like my wizard fury? Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fire damage over time. It's a good one. I'm probably just gonna use this blade up so many times in this area. Oh, is it gonna kill him? Yeah, there he goes. It did to hit him again. Can I wait? Oh, awesome. That wasn't so hard, was it? I got two of them at once. It's a little bit more planning and a sword that isn't totally destroyed. Ten. Oh my goodness. That thing was within reach of breaking. Okay, we got a pressure plate up here. I suppose it's just going to open that door in front of me. Definitely on it. No? What did it open then? It's very strange. It's open remotely. Well, it's gotta be what this thing is for. Get up there. Push it. That's really weird. Is that not a pressure plate? I thought those were pressure plates. Okay, well, where's the button to open this door? Let's look around here. Maybe there was one back in this room and I missed it. I didn't. I didn't notice one. I don't know. So I could have just not noticed it if it was there. But I don't. I'm usually fairly observant about that sort of thing. Okay, let's look at the map. Where are we heading here? Oh, right there. Okay, well it's just behind that grate. It looks like I might be able to go around in this direction. So. <laughs> oh gosh, that reminds me of the beginning of the main quest. Hey, here's a really convenient side passage. This doesn't look like a trap. Oh, what do you mean the way, the way that we were planning to go in the event of an emergency is locked? That's not right. Ah, just the two ogres, huh? I don't see any more. Now I'm gonna walk around this corner and bump into one. That would be great. Of course, if your sneak skill is high enough, you can have people literally bump into you and not notice that you're there. Am I gonna come out above where I was before? I think I might. Ah, and there's the button! Well, that was fairly handy. A good place to hide it. I like the way that Alayid Ruins do this sort of thing, or Alien Ruins do this sort of thing. You'll end up back above where you were. You see, there's that thing that I thought was a pressure plate. And now to get back to where you started, you just drop down. It's really easy. Is that the stone right there? <laughs> I'm waiting for the ogre ambush here. Um. 
Yeah. Got it. Okay, that was pretty easy. I found the stone of St. Alessia in Sidor. I should return it to Surak at the Temple of Talos in Bruma. Okay, let's do it. I don't even think I'll run into any enemies on the way out. Just those two ogres, huh? Well, that was a lot easier than previous quests. We had to fight three to get the uh, Lady Rugdump back. Did I do these quests in the wrong order, perhaps? Maybe you're supposed to go do this one and fight two, and then you do the other one and fight three? Yeah. Maybe. Well, one way or the other, we got it done. I'll meet you guys back in Bruma. Alrighty then. Hey, Sirak. Liking that do, man. Have you found it? Have you brought back the stone of St. Alessia? Oh, wait, is that what you want me to do? Yeah, I've got it, dude. Ah, you found it. I can't thank you enough. Your work is greatly appreciated. Here, take these. I wish I could give you more. What is it, gold? Bless what did he give me? Strong potion of healing. Three healing potions. Dude, that's... That's lame. And my acrobatic skill increased, just per chance. Alright, back to Azan to tell him we were victorious. Go, hero. Normally, I like things in my life. Thank you! Hey, check him out my ass, huh? Yeah, that gluteus maximus. New topic, 8 and 1. Don't care. You're trying to sell me expansion packs. Normally in my life, I like things to be very symmetrical. I'm just sort of OCD about it. And I realized a couple days ago that I don't hold the Xbox controller in a symmetrical manner. And it's more than just having one thumb on a lower joystick than the other. It's the placement of my other three fingers as well. And it kind of perturbed me. Now I can't stop thinking about it. Anyway, uh, Zahn, where are you? I want to finish this quest so I only have one left before the guild is done. Kill- no, that's Sten the Ugly. Sten the Ugly! Yeah, it just doesn't have that ring to it that Keld of the Isles does. That's one thing that the Shaded and Hole Fighters Guild District... What would you call that? Franchisee? Fight- I don't know. Outpost? Base? I don't even know what we call it. Hall? Our Guild Hall? The Shaden Hall? Hall? Hey, Azan. What's the status of the Stone of St. Alessia? I returned it to Sirak. Where is my... Yes, contract. I finished the contract. Well done. You've put in good work for me. I only wish I had more. Things are a little mean right now, as I'm sure you know. Right. Here's your payment. Our guildmaster is a little bit worried because her both of her sons have been killed. We've been getting some easy quests because of it. Advancement? You've cleared every contract we've got on the books. That's some good work. You're now promoted to champion of the Fighters Guild. Awesome. You outrank me now, so there's certainly no more I can do for you. You might check with an old friend of yours, though. Rumor has it that Orain's looking for you. You didn't hear it from me, though. Good work, and good luck. May the force be with you. Good day. See you, Zan. Alright, and so in the next episode of Let's Play Oblivion, the Fighters Guild, we will begin once and for all. Well, well, I mean, yeah, once and for all. That makes sense. We, 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 do, we do everything once and for all, unless I die and have to do it again. We're going to go and do some stuff and talk to Oriane and pick up the final quest of the Fighters Guild. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.